Colorado Rockies owner Dick Monfort seems like an idiot right now. Uh, according to Patrick Lyons, who covers the Colorado Rockies, on Twitter earlier today, he said that Rockies owner Dick Monfort said, I think we can play 500 ball. This was at a speaking event, at a Breakfast of Champions event. Dick Monfort, he is okay with being mediocre. That's what this tells you. No owner in sports should go right out there in the public and say, yeah, I think we can play 500 ball. No, it doesn't matter if you're the Pirates or if you're the Marlins or the Royals. You say, we're building, we're trying to make progress. Even the, the Reds president a couple weeks ago was saying, we want progress. He didn't specifically say, eh, I think we want to play five, I think we can play 500 ball. Because that's telling the fan base, literally, yeah, I don't think too much of this team. I think this team, I, I think we can be mediocre. I think we can play 500 ball. Why should fans want to spend their hard-earned money to go watch a team whose owner admits that it's a mediocre team and not a good baseball team? I know the, Rock, the Rockies, they're not expected to be this great baseball team in 2023, obviously. And if Dick Monfort would have said, well, I hope we're, I think we can be a playoff team, I think we would have laughed at him too. But... I think just to go out there and, and say to the public, whoever was at this Breakfast of Champions event, I think we can play 500 ball. I think we're good enough to be a mediocre team. And what is 500 in this division? Last place? Fourth place? With the Padres and Dodgers obviously trying to win like 100 games, the Diamondbacks, the Giants, they probably have their, their sights higher than 500. I mean, this, I just feel bad for Rockies fans. I mean, you had Arenado and Story, and Arenado wanted out. Let's be clear, right? Arenado wanted out because the Rockies weren't following through on their plan. He wanted to win, right? He signed that extension because he was thinking that the Rockies were going to continue to build around him. And that has not happened, right? Obviously, it didn't happen. And then he asked for a trade. And then the Rockies, they get like nothing back. Austin Gomber. That's like the only name I remember from that trade. And they gave the, the uh, Cardinals, they gave them $50 million. Yeah, here's, let's, let's just give you Nolan Arenado. Just stupid, stupid. And they bring in Chris Bryant on this big deal, which didn't make sense because you're bringing in Chris Bryant on a big free agent deal. When was that, last offseason? And you knew that you weren't going to surround him with anything. So what's the point of bringing him in, right? That's not telling your fan base, oh, we're trying to win. No, that's bringing in one big guy, I guess, to be the face of the franchise, along with who? Charlie Blackman, Brendan Rodgers, be the face, Ryan McMahon, be the face of the franchise, faces. But that's still not good enough. Like, Chris Bryant's not good enough to lead your team to the postseason, right? He's, th he's only 31. I understand that. Like, you could say he's still in his prime, and he did play pretty well with the Rockies when he was healthy. But that's not enough. So just this owner, you don't say that to the public. You say, we're trying to win, we're trying to make progress. I think we can play 500 ball. That's what's holding Major League Baseball back, right? Because there are owners that view this as a business. They don't care about going and winning a World Series. They're fine with, oh, well, we're a 500 team. Oh, we finished with the winning record this year. Woohoo! No, that, that shouldn't be good enough for any organization. I understand there's going to be some lean years for teams that are rebuilding, and the Rockies can be that. But they weren't supposed to be rebuilding, if you think about it, right? Because they signed Nolan Arenado to an extension. What happened to the Rockies from, when was that, 2018, 2019, when they were making the postseason and playing the Dodgers in game 163 and all that? Like, what happened to building off of that? Oh, yeah, no, we're good. Let's go trade Aaron Otto. Don't bring Story back. Don't trade Story before the deadline to, to get something back when you knew you weren't going to bring him back. Just the Rockies, they're just not a, it doesn't seem like they're a well run organization right now. And this offseason, you wonder why this team's going to be maybe a 500 team and, and the owner hopes to be a 500 team because the owner didn't invest money into the team. 
What is the Colorado Rockies offseason? What's their big move? They brought in Pierce Johnson. They brought in, what, Jose Urania? He was a free agent from Milwaukee. That's their offseason. Like, they haven't made moves. Okay, they acquired Connor Siebold to be the five starter. That's it. That's it. So, Rockies fans, I feel bad for you. But at least you're going to get to see Juan Soto and Fernando Tatis Jr. and Manny Machado and Xander Bogarts and Mookie Betts come into your stadium. You get to see those guys play. It's better than anyone else on that roster, right? 